Hey guys, welcome back to a Complicated Melody. So a while back I did a video um, just asking for questions that are um, usually sprinkled in other comments on other videos. So I figured I'd dedicate just one video to answer some of the questions about myself and uh, so you guys can get to know me better. So um, I have all the questions here and I'm going to start with the first one. The first one is from Real Deal Diva and she says, how long is your hair and does it grow fast? Well, this is my natural hair. Um, it's grown a little bit since the last time I did a video specifically about a hair update. So, um, as you can see, I have had it trimmed, but the longest is right here. It's a little bit past my collarbone. And, um, so you guys can see. So, that's about how long it is. And, um... I am going back to extensions, um, so look out for some more information about the new extensions that I'm about to get. But, um, yeah, that's I've been trying to grow my hair. I don't feel like my hair grows very fast at all. Um, I wish it grew faster, but it doesn't. And um, it's usually because it's just so thin. Um, my hair, the strands are very thin, so, um, yeah, it doesn't grow very fast. But, um, yeah. So that answers that question. So the next question is from Star One Trina, and she asks, "Your age, married, kids, profession." So um, my age, I'm 29. Uh, some of you guys already know that, but I'm 29. And um, if the bags under my eyes didn't give it away, yeah, I'm a lot older than sometimes I look. But I do get that a lot that people don't realize that I'm as old as I am. But I am 29. Um, I am not married. I am very much not married um you know as i'm just gonna stick with uh the facebook status it's complicated moving on to the next question i um do have one son he is 12 he'll be 13 next month so of course if you could do the math i had him while i was in high school so um that is my pride and joy that's my heart my love um so yeah i have a little not even a little boy. I have a little man um, who's in middle school. He's in the seventh grade. And um, if you follow me on Twitter, you get all the funny conversations that we have and the crazy things he does to just drive me up the wall. But in general, he's a great kid. He's actually one of the most well-behaved, you know, children, most polite children you probably would ever meet. Um, but, uh, yeah. Profession. I am a market analyst by profession. I work for an insurance company, a health insurance company. So I spend a lot of time looking at industry trends, um, do a lot of reports, secondary research, um, some primary research, um, which all probably sounds like wah, wah, wah. <laughs> to me it does sometimes. And it's not really exciting, you know, but it does, um, can, it can be interesting, but it's not necessarily exciting. Um, I keep myself busy as well because I have my own company called Lux by Design. It's a boutique um, design firm so you can find more information at luxbydesign.com if you're interested in having your blog or website designed or a logo or a flyer. Uh, I can hook you up with that. Um, and then I also have popculturefix.com which is my entertainment blog. I've had that since 2006. Six. Yeah, 2006 is really when I started. And um, and so I'm still going strong with popculturefix.com. And um, I also do a little bit of um, marketing and promotions here and there. I work with a company called The Caribbean Tea with a very popular DJ out here in Baton Rouge. If you're from here, you all know cool DJ Super Mike. That's, that's my brother um, from another mother. I um, work with him for the most part on all, his, all of his events and things like that. So if you're interested, you can look at thecribent.com as well. Um, that's also a website that I run and design. So that's what I do. That's what keeps me busy. So the next question comes from Lifestyles Buzz, B-Z-Z-Z. Um, she says, uh, not sure if, she, if I've done a video on lashes, but she finds it so hard to do it on herself. It can take up to 30 minutes. Any tips? I don't have a tutorial on lashes. When I get it down packed, maybe I'll do a tutorial. I actually 
still, I mean, have a little bit of a hard time putting on lashes as well. That's usually why I put them on off camera because it might add another 10 minutes to, to it because I too have some time to start over. Um, it's funny because when I'm in a rush, it seems like I have no problem. But when I'm just actually doing my makeup and then I go to put my lashes on, it seems like I have the hardest time. But um, one good tip that I recommend is to use duo glue. Don't use the glue that comes in the little packages. You know, e.l.f. has great little lashes for a dollar, but the glue is crap. Don't use that. Use duo glue. It's the best glue um, ever. And um, I really, really love that glue. It stays put. doesn't go anywhere. You don't have to worry about, you know, it going anywhere. And uh, it comes in clear and dark. Um, but I used to use dark. I still have a bottle of dark, but you know, if you're only, if you're wearing, you know, black mascara and liner, does it make sense to kind of use black, the dark one? But, um, clear, I just use clear because sometimes I'm using color liner on my lash line and it just makes sense, um, to just use clear. And, uh, yeah, so put a thin layer on there. I actually use my hands. I don't use an applicator or, um, a, um, a tweezer or anything I actually find it easier to put it on put them on my lash line and sometimes it's easier if the mirror is below you um, or you're looking up and you can see that the lash line is closer to the lash line sometimes when you're looking this way um, it appears that it's on your lash line and it's really not so it's a little easier sometimes to look that direction to see it but those are my tips um, that I know of that really works and um, maybe one day I'll, once I get it down packed I'll do the tutorial. The next question is from kjohn622 and she says when did you start wearing makeup? Do you have any tips for beginners? Uh, what do I do for a living and how did you get into your career field? So. Um, when did I start wearing makeup? Like most people, when I was um, a lot younger, my mother, she used to sell artistry from Amway, which is cosmetics, and kind of like, you know, like a Mary Kay or, or um, Avon, you know, you sell it from a catalog, and I used to play in it a lot, but I really wasn't necessarily into it. I think I just kind of wanted to play in it, and um, I remember being like 12 or 13 trying to convince my mother to let me get some lip liners and lip gloss because it really wasn't lipstick and uh, she was not having it and uh, when I became a teenager I was kind of over makeup I really wasn't into it wasn't trying to wear makeup I wasn't trying to wear earrings I wasn't trying to wear heels skirts anything like that it was not for me I wasn't a tomboy but I wasn't necessarily a girly girl either um, went through college. I look back at some of my college pictures and I was like, where was I going with that foolishness? I had like purple eyeshadow from here to here. Just a mess. But, um, about after 25, I'm 29 now, so I think about 25, I was when I started to freak out about my skin and looking good and all of that and just being a little bit more feminine and, uh, that's when I really, really got into it. And over the last three years, it's become more of an obsession, as you can tell <laughs> from my videos. Um, my diary of a shopaholic. I love beauty products now. I'm all into it. It's my life. I love it to death. It's such a passion of mine. And um, But I really didn't get into it until I was a lot older. And, um, I mean, I don't know if that's good or bad. I just know that it worked for me. If you're a beginner, I would say... Uh, a lot of trials and tribulations you'll go through try just try play with color um, a lot of times I will have um, you know a full face of makeup right before I go to bed because I'll go in my room and I'll just take things out and I'll just see how they look and I test a lot of different color combinations and techniques and I just practice YouTube is a great great place for you to start to learn how to do certain things learn different techniques the tutorials will really help you learn how to use the right brushes and things like that and what products can be really good for you um, what colors work best for your skin tone um, things like that well I told you guys what I do for a living but how I got into it I really kind of stumbled upon it I actually started off as a financial advisor when I got out of college I graduated in business administration with a minor in um, 
African American Studies, and my concentration was Marketing and Information Systems. So basically, I didn't know what I really wanted to do. I just knew I had to get out of school, for one. And so I took a job with uh, Morgan Stanley, and I was a financial advisor, and it just didn't work for me. I'm trying to get people to give me millions of dollars to manage as a 22-year-old black girl did, just wasn't going to work. It was not going to fly. And... Um, it's actually more of a system that they use just to get people in. And, uh, yeah, so I decided to start another, you know, job hunt. And I found this position as a marketing analyst. I read the description and I said, that sounds like something I could do. So I applied and it worked out in my favor. And um, I actually like what I do. I'm not necessarily fond of the industry. Health insurance just isn't fun. But I do love what I do. I love learning about, you know, consumer behavior and what makes people move and drive and industries and things like that so I actually found something that I really loved to do and I just kind of found it by happenstance so um la 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 chica 87 asked um am I married what job do I have and how can I afford all that makeup so I answered all those other questions but how can I afford all this makeup y'all I can't afford all this makeup it is a mess that all you know my little land yap used, that used to go to shoes and clothes now I go to cosmetics but um, as you can see I do try to keep up with being really really frugal and the deals and I don't like paying full price for anything at all so I'm always looking for a deal so coupons and you know gift certificates all that kind of stuff really play into it so don't think that i have just millions of dollars sitting around now i don't i don't, I don't have no husband no man buys this for me nothing like that this all comes out of my pocket but um i always try to find the most cost efficient way to do it and um you know there are some things that just get left on the table that i just don't get because i refuse to you know go into bankruptcy behind makeup uh turner 524 asks what is your major in college um, are you working in that career and please talk about being a teenage mother so um, my I said already that my uh, degree was in business administration and um, actually started off in IS well, let me back up I actually started in pre-med because when I went to college I thought I was gonna be a doctor took biology and said this is for the birds this is not my passion and I don't feel like putting that much, in, you know, effort into science. What else do I want to do? At the time, you know, college club was the thing to do. Napster was the thing to do. I was all into computers. I decided I'm going to go into information systems and decision science. Um, I got all the way to my senior year. And um, I had one semester to go. Um, and for me to graduate in the fall, I would have had to take visual basic in the summer. And I was like, I'm not trying to be a you know, computer programmer. Um, I just already know how to use a computer. I want to know how to use it more effectively. I don't want to know how to build it or anything like that. So I don't want to take this class. So I went to my, you know, counselor and I was like, what can I graduate in? Um, information systems at LSU, school that I went to, was already in the business college. So I didn't have to change colleges. She said, you know, you can choose this administration, marketing, what do you want to do? So I looked at the courses and for me to graduate on at, on time in the same fashion, all I had to do was change my major to business administration. I took a boatload of marketing classes and um, I was out. So that's why I say my concentration was marketing and information science because most of my classes in business school was information systems and marketing and marketing actually turned out to be more of my passion than information systems um, even though I am a social media butterfly um, marketing and, and the marketing side of it is the, the cool part that I like and um, so being a teenage mom wow um, it's a very interesting story there <laughs> I um, you know well, I'm a preacher's kid and I was scared to death to tell my parents. And um, one day, I don't know if I'll write a book or do a vlog or what. So, being a teenage mom, uh, it's not easy. I don't, um, you know, what do you say about it? You know, you see um, 16 and pregnant, teen mom, teen mom too. And um, it's definitely, you know... It's not glamorous, and it is, um, 
it definitely can be a stumbling block, but I guess the best advice that I can give is that if you are a teenage mom, just to keep doing what you, you know, uh, want to do, pursue everything. Don't let that ever, ever, ever hold you back. That is, I've never said, oh, because I was a teenage mom, I was not able to do this or that. So being a teenage mother means sacrificing things, but it doesn't make it any different from being a mother. You're a mom. You just happen to be a teenager at the time, but do know that eventually you will be an adult so you know a lot of times people put that stigma like you're a young mom but um you know if you're a parent at 20 or a parent at 17 you're still a parent and when i do make 20 i'm a parent um and so you know that responsibility and that sacrifices that you have to make as a parent are always there and they're just not you know you can't escape them and um if you're a teenager and you're thinking about having a child don't do it. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> if you haven't learned anything from 16 and pregnant and teen mom, it is not glamorous. It is not fun. It's nothing cute about it. Um, you know, just take your time. Do what you got to do. You know, use protection. Um, if, you know, number one form of protection is abstinence. And uh, I know most kids aren't doing that these days, so at least use protection if you're going to because there's a lot more that can come with it besides a baby. We know this. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of my my spiel on being a teenage mom. Um, I'm definitely have a lot more. I have definitely have a lot more subscribers now than I did when I made the video for the questions. So if you have more questions, leave them below, and I'll do another video so you guys can ask me more questions. If you, um, you know, want to know anything else, if you, you know, anything, just ask. I'll answer. And yeah, so I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.